tickets as well at yourmoneyatskynews.com. Dot AU. Let's get straight into it. Julia, let's talk about that performance or really lack of performance. Uh, a flat day index level at least. It was Aussie dollar up and Australian market down. So it was really the impact of the job numbers on markets and on currencies today where we did see the job numbers coming in better than expected with the unemployment rate actually ticking down. But if we have a look at the market, a lot of the action was about the banks today. We did see ANZ going ex-dividend. So that wiped about eight and a half points off the index and NAB uh, fell around about 2% after its half year numbers. So that wiped about six points off the index. In terms of index levels those, though, and technically, if we have a look at the Australian share market, we have once again closed below 5,200 points. So it does look like the market is struggling around that 5,200 point resistance mark. So a close above that would have been positive. But for today, what you'll notice is that we did see it open it, the market opening and then up, down, and then we basically saw the market closing where it opened. So really, the market market in a balanced state and I guess just needing an extra impetus to move it up higher. What do you, I mean is there anything that you're targeting on the horizon that could be a bit of a, a catalyst one way or the other? Well, one thing we're watching very closely is the material space and resources mm. in the rally in 2013. This is one area which really hasn't participated. It's been driven by the high yielders and the banks. But this week's been a phenomenal week for uh, resource-based companies. And that's really because we've seen a renewed optimism around global growth. We've, we saw the very positive job numbers coming out of the U.S. on Friday. And then we saw the better than expected trade numbers coming out of China. So that really has breathed some life into the commodity space we have a look at that material space we've seen a fantastic performance four sessions of the week so far and we've seen Mirabil and nickel up a massive 77 percent we've seen Linus up by 29 percent that's been helped along by the Malaysian elections giving a bit more stability to that particular stock but if we have a look at the gold miners like St. Barbara miners and uh, Northern Star these stocks are up about 20 percent even the majors BHP is up about 8 percent and Rio Tinto is up about 7 percent for the week Tech Technically we've been talking about BHP and Rio all week and they are now in an uptrend. So the picture for the resource place is much brighter and uh, if we see this continuing and if we do see the high yielding areas of the market once again start to participate then we could see the index above 5200 points. John, um, the well stronger than expected jobs prints that we got, I, I suppose shortening or, or lengthening I should say the odds of uh, another rate cut at least, another imminent rate cut being one of the reasons for today's performance. I mean, did, did we see that? Do you, you think that was one of the, I suppose, impacts or leaders on our markets? Absolutely. That was a huge impact on the Aussie share market. And if we have a look at when rates uh, come down, it's a positive for share valuations. It's a positive for companies looking to grow because it's cheaper and it's a positive for the yield plays. So if we don't see rates coming down um, or the chances of a rate cut in June are uh, decrease, then we are going to see a negative impact in terms of the Australian share market. You just have to see when those job numbers came out at 11.30 and you can see that was the start of the downward movement that we saw in the Aussie share market for most of the afternoon session. A completely opposite reaction in terms of the Aussie dollar though, this is what it looks like. And the Aussie dollar of course jumps because yields will be sustained um, at the 2.75% level uh, for longer than the market had expected compared to uh, before those numbers were released. So having a big impact in terms of the Aussie share market as well as the Aussie dollar. And I think those numbers were a real surprise. Mm. They were much more optimistic than, uh, than the forecasts that were in the market. So a nice surprise today in terms of the Australian economy. Unfortunately that had a negative impact in terms of the Australian share market. NAB, uh, year, half year I should say, results on f reasonably in line in terms of headline. The NIM obviously net interest margin a bit of a concern. Enough to see it sold down 2%? I think this is really more of a reflection around what's happening uh, with dividends. If we have a look at NAB's share price, it is outperforming the other majors. NAB's share price is up about 32% in 2013 so far. That's about double what CBA's share performance has been. We've seen an increase of about 15% for CBA in 2013. And of course, if we have a look at the dividend uh, policies of the banks and how much dividends have gone up, CBA has been the leader there with an increase of 20% in its 
its interim dividend. We've seen ANZ increasing its interim dividend by 11%. Westpac's managed a gain of 5%. That's not including the special dividend that it announced. And then we see NAB today, and it only increased its interim dividend by 3.3%. So given the outperformance that we've seen in NAB share price, I don't think the market's been too impressed in terms of the dividend that was announced today. And we know that the chase for yield has been a key driver of uh, banking stock prices. In terms of the actual result, broadly in line with expectations, $2.92 billion, just beating consensus, which was at $2.89 billion. The UK bank, of course, the bad and doubtful debt provisioning that has uh, come down by about $142 million, really helping. And it was interesting to see the increased margins mm. in terms of home loans, seeing um, the personal division increasing by 20%. So a huge increase there. As you mentioned, the net interest margin coming in at 2.03 uh, percent, which was down by three basis points, but I don't think that was a massive surprise in terms of NAB. I think we have a, a two percent um, net interest margin for the 2013 uh, financial year. So all in all, I think it was um, a combination of outperformance in terms of NAB's share price in 2013 and the fact that didn't, we didn't see NAB increasing its dividend as much as the, its other peers.